Hey there, Virgo. I hope this finds you in good spirits and good health. This is a tarot card reading to see what you need to know now. And we're just going to pull some cards and see what happens. So far you have the Princess of Swords or Page of Swords, King of Discs, King of Pentacles, and Six of Swords, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, Ten of Discs or Ten of Pentacles, the Lover's card, Ace of Swords, and then last one here, Queen of Discs or Queen of Pentacles. So before we get into taking a closer look at this, I'm going to pull a couple of Oracle cards and see what the universe has for you. You have passion and pleasure, savor your life. So this card kind of indicates, um, you know, not to forget the reason why we are on this journey of life, which is basically to enjoy when goodness is brought our way. And then you have this turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace. So it's also a kind of a reminder not just to to take. So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, what I'm kind of sensing is um, kind of a, a breakup with the prince, princess of sword or page of swords, the card also says curiosity at the bottom. Um, so it indicates that perhaps there was some information that was learned about this king of discs where it says power at the bottom. And there was perhaps a breakup and there's some healing that was going on and transition. However, it indicates there's a two of cups here, indicates a new connection. Union is at the bottom of that card. And then you have the eight of swords and 10 of discs. So with that, um, Isolation is at the bottom of this Eight of Swords. Um, I kind of see it more as a restriction or restricting yourself. And then uh, Ten of Discs says establishment. So it seems that maybe there is a certain fear of connecting, making a new connection and really not feeling that you want to invest into it, perhaps because of things from the past. Uh, then you have Lovers, Ace of Swords, and Queen of Discs. And in that card, that queen, it says uh, there's an individual that looks pregnant and it says Nurture at the bottom. So it indicates that really there is Going to be a new sense of clarity when it comes to creating um, a committed relationship and a sense of you know not only nurturing the relationship but yourself so let's kind of see how you can get there i'm going to clarify i'm going to clarify this king of discs here you have the Knight of Swords. So it seemed like perhaps the King of Discs, it was the, uh, the person that you needed at that time. And clarify the Princess of Swords with the curiosity. You have the Five of Cups, which is a sense of loss. 
Um, so perhaps this is kind of a repeating cycle. Maybe it was that that individual gave you a sense of stability because you hadn't fully healed from a prior hurt. So I'm going to clarify the Six of Swords. You have the Six of Wands. So it kind of seems that even though things didn't work out with this prior individual, it was a success in a sense of breaking up with this King of Discs was not as hard as whatever happened in the past. This queen, the King of Discs, King of Pentacles, provided you the stability that you needed and the transition from that person who probably, you know, lifted you up a little bit, it is still hard because it seems like it's still part of, you're still transitioning but it was a success in the sense that that person also let you, um, like, let you kind of go easily, or it was easier to leave that person. So let's clarify the two cups here. You have the Nine of Swords, which is a sense of, you know, fear, anxiety, doubts, um, very connected to the Eight of Swords, which is kind of, you know, your mind's playing a number on you, so let's clarify that. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So perhaps um, tran transferring your fear and anxiety into um, something else, some kind of skill or talent. If you're a painter or a sculptor, kind of take that emotion and um, transition it into something positive. Perhaps even do some, you know, journaling about on it, but use it to your advantage so it'll help you heal and grow from this prior experience back here. Uh, let me take a look at this Ten of Discs. You have the Four of Swords. So really it seems that you need to kind of um, take some time for yourself to fully heal and in terms of this kind of new union that's popping up this new potential i would say that if you have someone that's interested and you kind of let them know that you're kind of focusing on yourself for a little bit and you truly focus on yourself um, it seems that shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to clarify the Lover's card. You have the Devil card. So that indicates um, it's almost like the flip side of the Lover's. The Lover's is kind of being your best version of yourself and committing with another person creating a partnership and making choices together that impact both of you for the long term. The double is kind of being seduced and making decisions that aren't in your best interests. Um, possibly with the hope, you know, that it can get you into the right place eventually. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna clarify this Devil's card and the Lovers and kind of see 
what needs to change or where they meet in the middle. So you have here Six of Cups, which kind of indicates that past relationship that didn't really seem to heal. Um, so taking time for yourself, perhaps any kind of fear, anxiety that you have about a new relationship, um, perhaps just kind of um, put it into, you know, manifest it in a positive way. Like I said, um, some type of art, writing, um, and take time for yourself so that you can fully heal this past experience. Let me clarify the Ace of Swords here, where it says clarity at the bottom. You have the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is someone that puts in the work that really has the long-term goal in mind and has achieved that long-term plan. So it seems that once you kind of go through the process of healing what wasn't healed, you will be able to have the clarity to set out what you want for your long term so you can have these types of relationships. Um, and then with the Queen of Discs, it's clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So kind of indicates you really need to spend time with yourself and celebrating who you are. So this savor your life here, passion and pleasure. I think that um, you need to focus that passion and pleasure on yourself for a little bit so you can, you know, recognize your long-term goals so you can share that with others and savor your life as a team, as a partnership. And then the give with gratitude and grace, this turkey spirit here. Um, I think it's also just giving to yourself, giving yourself some time and room to heal and grow. I'm hoping this provides some helpful perspective, and we'll see you next time. Take care.